Hey guys, Jay here. Welcome to another Top 5 Fridays. I realized that it's Saturday. Uh, had a death in the family, so it kind of delayed recording for a little bit. So it's just a day late, but here you go. Uh, this week we're looking at action horror. Now you think this list would be Aliens, Terminator, Predator. Uh, those are all great blends of horror and action. What I've been trying to do with these videos is not so much of a real like top five as in who's the best, what's the best movie ever made, because everyone's list would be the same if it was about the objectivity of the movies. Uh, but I've been trying to suggest some movies I really love in hopes that the viewer, you know, you guys, uh, get to learn about movies you may not have heard of and check some stuff out that you may not have seen. Uh, so with that in mind, let's get to the movies. Number five, Tokyo Gore Police. This movie is off the walls, batshit crazy, and I love it. Featuring plenty of practical effects, the story is about a mad scientist who creates a virus that when someone is injured, that injured part of them mutates. To counter this, the police form a paramilitary group called Engineer Hunters. The mutations are awesome and gory and fairly inventive, and the ending fight is ridiculous in a very fun way. If you like off-the-wall, over-the-top special effect-filled Japanese movies, this is one you don't want to miss. Number 4, Night Watch. This movie is based on the Russian book by the same name. The plot revolves around the titular Night Watch, whose job it is to make sure the forces of darkness don't break the treaty between them and the forces of light. It's hard to dive into this movie's plot without giving things away, but when you, what you need to know is it involves vampires, witches, people's supernatural abilities, and some of the most creative action sequences you'll ever see. Number 3, Mayhem. Mayhem is a newer movie, and I haven't seen a lot of people talk about it. It stars Steven Yeun as a corporate office worker. In the world the movie takes place in, there's a virus that makes people lose all self-control. It can affect people in different ways. They can stop giving a shit and do things like have sex in public when they normally wouldn't, or get extra violent and start killing people. The movie establishes that because of the nature of the virus, people are not legally responsible for their actions up to and including murder. Steven's character, Derek, is fired as the virus hits the building and locked down. The government will have the whole building cured in eight hours. What falls is a fun, gory, action-packed ride as Derek fights his way to the executive floor to try and get his job back by any means necessary. Number 2. Guyver 2, Dark Hero. A sequel, you ask? Yeah, so let me explain. There are two Guyver movies. Both are good, but to me the second really embodies the anime and manga it's based on a lot more. The Guyver is an alien weapon, a suit of armor that lives inside the user. It is used to fight Zoonoids, which are humans who can transform into monsters werewolf style. The monsters have increased speed and strength and of course claws and stuff that make it easy to kill people. In the first, we see our hero Sean accidentally obtain the Guyver armor and use it to protect his girlfriend and take down the evil corporation Kronos. But the first one kind of has uh, leans more towards a comedic uh, side. So while there is action and there's horror elements, uh, I feel like the second is just way better. In the second, we see Sean struggling with being the Giver, as he heads to an archaeological dig site that may hold answers to what exactly the Giver is. The action is like Power Rangers on crack. The monsters are often in to tokusatsu, and I probably said that wrong, style rubber suits. However, the use of wire work and some really decent martial arts choreography amps up the action and makes the fights really entertaining. There are a few plot points and even action scenes that are taken straight from the anime and manga. You don't really need to see the first to watch the second, so watch both, but if you can only watch one, watch the second one. Number one, They Live. I know it's a fan favorite, and I said I wanted to do lesser known movies, but I can't have a list about action horror movies and leave off They Live. It's such an amazing movie. Uh, they Live stars Roddy Roddy Piper as a vagrant just looking for work when he stumbles across an alien plot to take over the world. The movie co-stars Keith David and features one of the best street fights ever filmed. Not only that, but the movie is responsible for some of Duke Nukem's better known lines, including... I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Oh, If you haven't seen the movie, do yourself a favor and watch it ASAP. That's it for me, guys. Thanks for giving me a watch. Sorry the video was late. Um, make sure you check out all the other guys participating in Top 5 Friday's videos. Links will be in the description below. Uh, like us, subscribe us, check us out on Facebook. We've moved away from Horophilia now, so check our podcast out on Podbean. That'll be the place to get everything uh, first. And yeah, thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.